Three. Zero. Three. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Shop here. Today we got a really interesting thing to talk about, and that is about the new Tata Nexon Compact SUV. And before we get started, like my channel and smash that like button and hit that bell button to get more of the notification of my videos. So let's get it right on. So this is actually a, a car which is anticipated by most of the persons around and this car is actually a really great competition to the Ford's car like EcoSport and the Suzuki's Vitara Brezza. And during this video I will be talking about the 5 cool features. The first one is the activity key fob. So what is this activity key fob? Um, this is something which you get in cars like Jaguars. So if you are on a trucking on your compact SUV like the Titan Exxon and you are going onto some hills or something and you are going to truck. So what if, what if you want to carry your key fob? So if you are having the smart key fob, it's actually a smart activity band thing like the fast track reflex and if you have that key fob thing which is tied on your wrist you can just open your car and just press the shutter button and you can just drive the car when the smart activity key fob is activated the smart key fob will be deactivated automatically to improve the security of the car and second feature is like it has some easter eggs for you like the jaguar or the new fiat combus i mean jeep combus um, this thing car this car has many some of the easter eggs for you like a small tigress and a hookup is embossed on the rear windshield of the car and you also have a tiger engraved or maybe embossed on the front glove box which is lit by the way which is lit and you also have rear bucket seats which is not available on any of these competitions like the Vitara Brazo or the Ford Axis Sport so in the rear you have four bucket seats and one integrated armrest in the rear and if you fold the armrest you can have five person seating and it also has a good cargo rim and you can also fold the rear seats which making it even a bigger cargo space you can also fold 60 40 so you also have that and some of my feels like amazing plastic cladding on the outside of the car which gives a dual tone feeling and it also makes it looks amazing you also have some more upmarket things like a floating touch screen. By the way, it's said to be a floating touch screen. It's not a floating one in any manner. It's said like that. It's somewhat like the Audi touch screen. Uh, and which changes the accent color if you change your drive modes from sport to city to echo, whatever, like the red, blue, and green, respectively. So you all you have all those features. Then what next? You have some amazing thing more on this SUV that is it is having the class leading ground clearance except for the Renault Duster AWD. The Renault Duster all-wheel drive has 210mm while this thing has 209mm of ground clearance. All other SUVs like the Vitara Brazza or the Ford Echo Sports is less, having ground clearance less than this and you, you, are, you want to know one more thing. The Tata's flagship SUVs like the Safari Storm or the I mean the that a hexa is not having the as much ground clearance as this thing have, which makes it a perfect off-roader. This thing have way more practicality than any other engine cars. Like it has two umbrella holders inside and two cup holders inside, which is hidden by a small slider. It has an amazing dashboard layout and a steering console. So I think it's going to be make a real difference in the Tata's car industry. So that's all about it. Thank you once again like that like this video and hit that subscribe button thank you now i'm not a writer okay